I'm here with Graham Whitehead, the city historian at the city of Kingston. We're, uh, we're sitting in his office here down at Parktail Library. And Graham just after telling me that there was a UFO um, spotted in the city of Kingston in 1966, which I find it difficult to believe. But tell us the story, Graham. Well, it, it wasn't the city of Kingston then, of course. It was a former municipality. But the story is that uh, some students from uh, Westall High School saw this UFO yep. and they believed it landed in the Grange. So they saw it? Or at like... least it hovered in the Grange. <laughs> okay. It may not have actually landed, yep. but they saw it there. And this created a tremendous amount of excitement at the school. And there are a lot of mysteries about it now. Yep. People swear that it happened. Other people are sceptical. So how many people actually saw the UFO? I'm not sure the, the actual number. Um, but there were you know, a substantial number of students who saw it, say they saw it, yeah. uh, this thing in the sky, and they had descriptions for it. But the interesting thing was uh, that the principal of the school clamped it all down. And this principal was uh, Frank Sambleby. And he taught me at school, okay. so I, I can remember him well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so was it seen in the middle of the night or the middle of the oh, day? No, it was in the middle of the day. Okay. The, the, the students were out the, outside in the, in the grounds. There was a phys ed lesson going on. Um, so, and then the, the, uh, the rumour about it or the story about it spread like wildflower yeah. through, the, through the school. Was Moorabbin Airport around at the time when any of the yes, planes? Yes, Moorabbin Airport was there and that was one of the theories that was put forward. It was just a plane from Moorabbin Airport that they saw. No, they said it was nothing like an aeroplane. Nothing like an aeroplane. And uh, people explored at the uh, airport to say, were there planes in the air at that time? No. So, you know, the, yeah. The, the skeptics were saying all these various things and people were knocking them down. So what did this flying saucer look like? Have any accurate descriptions? Oh, they, yes, they did talk about it as being a silver object and round and just the normal UFO sort of story that we, we hear about today. And I believe uh, this group got together again recently or in oh. the last 12 months to... Yes. Uh, and they're still sticking think, with the story? I think it was a couple of years ago that they had a reunion uh, over at the Grange where this landing took place and they were very strong about the story. They were quite definite that it had happened and they, what they saw, they're sticking to that story. Great, well look, I, I think it's a great story. Um, hopefully it's true. But um, look, we'll touch base with you maybe next month and get another story from you. Okay, Thank that's you. fine.